When you only have one shot, make it count. I'm Kristen for Guns.com, and that's Ruger's tagline for the venerable classic Ruger number no. 1 single shot falling block rifle. Here's why we love them, one that we snagged from the Guns.com vault, and why you might want to look at a Ruger number no. 1 to have in your future as well. Though these rifles are produced in a limited number of chamberings every year in current day, there's good reason why they remain around for over 55 years of production from Ruger. They have a simple, classic, elegant, sweeping design with that swooping under lever that opens the action, drops that heavy falling block. It's a compact build on a rifle, and the strength of the action allows it to chamber some of the biggest, higher, highest pressure bores on the market, in addition to some of the baby bores as well. And that's what we snagged from the Guns.com vault, is a 204 Ruger. Ruger's own chambering in partnership with Hornady, which is excellent from everything from vermin to varmints. It doesn't do a lot of damage to the fur. It's a cool little round if you don't know about it. Check out some of our coverage at guns.com. You'll learn more about the 204 Ruger. But suffice it to say, the Ruger number no. one rifle is a perfect companion for that 204 Ruger. When you look at the Ruger number no. one rifle, you see that swooping under lever that is located behind and beneath the trigger guard, and that's what actuates that action. Pulling forward on that lever drops the falling block that allows you to load your one round of whatever chambering you have from the smallest baby bores up to the heaviest hitters. The Ruger number no. 1 handles them all. You can get a variety of barrel weights and firearm finishes. Because it is a classic looking firearm, most often you'll see lovely walnut wood furniture partnered with a rich deep bluing. But we saw this one and they did make many chamberings and styles in this stainless steel and the pepper gray laminate. We think that's a darn sharp looking combination, but they don't just look good, they shoot good as well. If you spend some time on the internet forums, you're bound to see some of these weekend warriors saying Ruger number no. ones don't shoot, they're not accurate guns, who wants a single shot? Well, I'll tell you what, I've owned, shot, and hunted with a good number of these rifles, and maybe it's just a fluke, but all of mine have shot very well. This 204 Ruger you'll see when we head out for our accuracy test is shooting lights out on the range. What do you get when you get a Ruger number no. 1 rifle? In addition to that compact, strong action, you're getting practical features for hunters and shooters, no matter what your, your choice is there. You get a gun that comes, most of them, with an ejector mechanism that can be switched to only extraction. That's kind of what we have. It's pulling that shell out just far enough where we can grab it, remove it, and feed the next one in. If you're a shooter of single shots or you've been around folks who do a lot of hunting with single shots, they're usually wearing a wrist cuff with extra shells or maybe on the buttstock of the rifle and they can pull that round out, put the next one in almost as fast as the rest of us can shoot bolt actions or even semi-autos. There's no reason to say that a single shot is not as good or as fast a rifle. That's just not the case. But one thing you do learn with a single shot is how to make that one shot count. That first shot should be on the money, and then you can think about reloading and being ready for the second shot. I always advocate for shooting the way you're planning to shoot in the field, whether it's offhand or from a stick. And let's face it, this heavy barrel Ruger number no. one is really a bench gun. It's too heavy to be carrying around and shooting offhand. I probably wouldn't shoot it much off sticks, but we just want to give you a little different angle and just try something different. If you want a scope, it's easy to do with a Ruger number no. one. They include rings. You have those integral Ruger style mounts. They take their own Ruger rings. We had a choice of many optics, but we actually went with the Burris Signature HD in a 2 to 10 by 40. You get kind of a nice mid-range mix there. We know with a 204 Ruger, we can reach out to four to 500 yards is gonna be your max with that before you're seeing a lot of wind drift and significant drop. And the nice thing about a 204 is that it's a low, very, very low recoil round. And the nice thing about the Ruger number no. one is they are heavier rifles, especially in this version we have here. It has that 26 inch heavy bull taper varmint barrel. This rifle feels like it weighs a ton. We're tipping the scales right around 10 to 11 pounds, depending on the optic and the accessories that we're mounting on it. So you see, as we're shooting that on the bench, there is just zero rifle move. There's no muzzle rise, there's no recoil. It's just a pleasure to shoot. And that's one of the things that a lot of varmint hunters and prairie dog shooters look for. You want to see that terminal performance in the scope. You don't want to be coming up with recoil off of the target and not seeing what's happening downrange. This combination lets 
you'll see everything nice and clear, plain as day, no movement, and that's half the fun of doing those shoots. We want to look at the trigger pull here on our Ruger number one because that is really exceptional. A high quality trigger aids greatly in accuracy and that's how we're able to shoot hole on hole. We clear the action there, we make sure it's empty. We are on safe. We move that forward to fire. And it's a super crisp trigger breaking right about three to three and a half pounds. One of the neat things about the Ruger number one that's often overlooked is that it's not only friendly for right-handed shooters, but lefties as well. It's really a very ambidextrous rifle because you have that under lever, your shell is coming out direct midline, and you see there at the tang, we have the tang mounted safety. So whether you're a righty or lefty, you don't have to worry about it with the Ruger number one. When we look at Ruger's number one catalog today, as we're doing this video, we see only three chamberings produced right now at current time. We have a 257 Rigby, a 275 Weatherby, and a 65 Creedmoor. But you'll see Ruger has been producing the number one for so long that the used market has plenty to choose from when you're looking for any of the old school chamberings. Odds are good, you name a factory chambering, there's a Ruger number one that was built in that caliber. We're set up here at 100 yards. Let's give her a go. I'm going to hold dead center on this target. Oh, it looks like I'm just high of the bullseye, which I can see very clearly. I've got a Burris Signature 2 to 10 by 40 optic. It's nice and clear. Looks like I'm cutting the same hole. I can't tell for sure, but I'm not seeing another hole. We'll take a look here in a minute. Let's see what we can do with number three. In my experience, my Ruger number ones have shot great and 204s in general I found to be shooters, so. All right, let's take a walk down range. I'm not sure where that one went. We'll take a look. Ooh, I'm not always celebrating groups, but this is one that's shooting lights out. Check that out. You saw it on camera. That's three shots at 100 yards with the Ruger number one and 204 Ruger shooting the Superformance Varmint. These are the 32 grain VMAX from Hornady. Excellent varmint round and excellent performance. Whether you're shooting prairie dogs, coyotes, or something in between, this gun is definitely going to get the job done. Whether you're a hunter looking for anything from the 20 caliber 204 Ruger up to the 480 Ruger or anything in between, including plenty of non-Ruger chamberings, ones like even the 300 H&H or a 375 H&H, &H, there are so many interesting calibers and interesting rifles to choose from. The sky is the limit with the Ruger number one. Whether you're a collector, a shooter, or a hunter, this is a rifle that should be on your radar as an American-made quality rifle. I'm Kristen for Guns.com. Thanks for joining us today as we took a look at the Ruger No. 1 and the 204 Ruger. Be sure to check out the Guns.com vault when you're in the market for new or used rifles. And give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you can see me and our other fine folks at Guns.com bringing more gun-related content your way soon.